and I've got it to where it will Let's see if I can do this with one hand on the way it's cranking I'm going to guess that it's got one valve that's a little too tight or a little too loose this is a Kohler I don't know if it works like if it's got a pressure relief like a Briggs and Stratton does or not but I will find out but it runs good it's just uh, figuring out how to kill it because you can turn the key back off and it'll stay running once it once it does start running and I've had it running and it runs fine so that will be the projects for coming up here shortly and that's what I've got that's what I've been doing the last few days my back kind of screwed up again the stupidest shit will screw you up every damn time in my case it was laying in bed and I sneezed reverse mower selected oh that's for a light okay they they made a mess of the wiring when they changed the engine out but hey I don't even know if the thing will move under its own power yet I've just been trying to get it to where I can turn it on and turn it off oh the joys of being one of those people that fixes things yourself this thing broke a rocker arm it's supposed to look like that it doesn't look like that it looks like that which is this that shiny spot right there that's where it broke and that's where I'm going to weld it back together and put it back in the mower was free so I'm not going to spend any money on it because I don't know if I got more damage in there that I don't know about oh this is what people that get stuff for free and then decide hey I wonder if that even runs will do to find out the front cover is gone the end of that hose is gone but that doesn't matter it'll still start and run I have had it running but it was only running on one cylinder over there and not running very well so we will be happy to find out how it's going to run now so you all take care I will talk to you well, that's my hand talk to you later Bye. Well, I got an answer to my problem with the mower, and it's running bad. Broke a rocker arm in half. So, I've ground it down a little bit. I'm going to put a couple of little spot welds on it with a TIG, and then weld it together with a MIG, and hope that it works. And holds together. I checked the valves over there and over there and they're too tight which is probably what happened to this side too. The push rod does not appear to be bent so it must have just failed from stress I guess or they had it too tight. The hole doesn't appear to be too wallered out yeah I'll find out more when I put it on after I get it welded but another problem cured I hope we will see all right you're gonna to get to see basically one of my first few times of TIG welding right if I figure out what I did with my gloves there they are I have virtually no experience TIG welding. So 
so Didn't break. I don't know if that's focusing in. Nope, not when I keep dropping it, but I'm not going to grab it with my bare hands. You can see it penetrated. There's no rod used. I'm just heating the metal and melting it back together. This side needs another deal done. That's too far off on the edge. Come on, where you at? Where are you? There you are. Can you see that? Probably not. There, now you can. You see, still see the crack. I went just off to the side of it. So I'll redo it and we'll call it good. Put it in and see if it'll start and run. Okay, got a kill switch wired in. But it doesn't appear to move. But I haven't even checked the hydrostat or the belts or anything. So that will be my next step. But at least I got it to where it'll start and run. And I'm happy now. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a dozen. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a dozen. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Bye.